In the quest for revolutionary aircraft design during the 1950s, the French aviation industry produced one of the most unique experimental vertical takeoff and landing aircraft ever conceived, the Snecma C-450 Coleoptere. Meaning beetle in French, this extraordinary machine represented a bold attempt to reimagine aerial mobility and combat aircraft capabilities. The genesis of the Coleoptere can be traced to the post-World War II era when military planners sought alternatives to vulnerable airfields. Snecma, a French engine manufacturer, began extensive research into vertical takeoff and landing technologies, starting with a series of unmanned and manned test rigs called the Atar Volant between 1956 and 1958. These experimental platforms were crucial in developing the technologies that would culminate in the coleopter. The aircraft's most distinctive feature was its annular wing, a radical circular design influenced by Austrian engineer Helmut von Zborowski's innovative concepts. This donut-shaped wing was not merely a structural element, but was theoretically capable of functioning as both an airframe and potentially a ramjet engine for supersonic flight. Technically, the Coleoptere was a single-seat aircraft with extraordinary design characteristics. Its central core housed a Snecma Atar turbojet engine, while four triangular winglets provided aerodynamic control during horizontal flight. The most ingenious aspect was the pilot's seat, an ejection seat that could tilt to keep the pilot nearly upright during vertical takeoff and landing. The aircraft's flight testing began in December 1958 with test pilot August Morel at the controls. During eight successful flights, the Coleopter demonstrated hover capabilities and reached a maximum altitude of 800 meters. However, its ninth flight on July 25, 1959, ended in disaster. While attempting to transition to horizontal flight, the aircraft became unstable. Morel was forced to eject at just 150 meters, surviving but badly injured, while the prototype was completely destroyed. Despite its ultimate failure, the Coleoptere significantly influenced vertical takeoff and landing aircraft development worldwide. It inspired further research and demonstrated the potential of radical aircraft designs. Snecma had even developed additional conceptual designs, including plans for a subsonic ground attack aircraft and a supersonic interceptor, all utilizing the innovative annular wing concept. The Coleoptere remains a testament to the innovative spirit of 1950s aerospace engineering, a bold experiment that pushed the boundaries of what was considered possible in aircraft design, even if it did not ultimately succeed in becoming an operational aircraft.